Greetings, my excellent friends. It is Monday, January 9th, 2023, here in absolutely beautiful Tokyo, Japan. You got the hobby drifter here once again, and I am just back from one of my, what I generously consider, walks, which is just really an excuse to, uh, you know, go five miles to a, a book off uh, down the road. Uh, what you're seeing here, of course, uh, is Masterpiece Star Saber. Um, love this figure, have had one of these uh, for a while, but this one interested me. This was, uh, I mean, if you look at the price here, it's 14,000 yen plus tax, which I think at present in just under 100 US dollars with the exchange rate. Um, but if you look closely, the yellow sticker here, let me move the camera, says, uh, Box Itami figure uh, Hontai Yake, which means the uh, box has damage and the figure has like discoloration, sunburn, something like that. Uh, pretty standard for uh, figures that have a lot of white on them. But what really interested me was that it's 50% off, 50%. Now, the uh, book offs around here are very, very stingy when it comes to knocking a little bit of uh, thing off the price. That's usually reserved for like missing, like missing an instruction booklet or like pretty severe stuff. Um, and I also don't see this book off sell a lot of heavily damaged stuff. Um, so they probably would have shown me what is in this box had I asked. Um, but at 50% off, that's like, uh, what's it? Uh, about 7,000 yen, uh, 7,700 after tax, I believe, which now is like 60 bucks. So I figure like, it's, it's worth it to, to see what's what's in the damn box. I didn't want them to have to like unwrap it and everything uh, and then rewrap it. Um, I mean, I, I do some, some action figure photography. Uh, so I mean, if it's like, you know, beaten to shit, I can get some cool, like, you know, damage pictures out of it. But I have no idea uh, what is gonna be in this box. Um, like I said, 50% off of something is basically unheard of uh, for, for a book off. Uh, if, if it wasn't for the weight in this thing, I would assume that it's basically the empty box. Uh, Star Saber is not the most expensive masterpiece out there, but I mean, it generally commands in the neighborhood of uh, like 200 US dollars. Because uh, it, it, it is a beautiful figure. Uh, got one... Uh, Got one sitting over there, combined with the uh, second party, third party, whatever you call it, the other part, the fake, the bootleg, um, Victory Leo to make uh, Victory Saber. So, I don't know, like, this thing, it, it's 50% off. This thing has got to have, like, it's got to be, like, just put through a blender and uh, dumped in a box. But I don't know that. Like, when I used to, like, years and years ago, like, 10, 15 years ago, like, when I would go to uh, collector stores, that you would see massive discounts for minor issues. Sorry, doorbell. All right, so back in the day when I would buy stuff like these from secondhand stores, you know, they would see massive, massive discounts for really minor issues. So either the thing in here is going to be basically fine and just someone knocked the price down for something that most humans wouldn't notice, or it's going to be like a, a pile of spare parts. I don't know. I don't know. And like, honestly, I have seen this thing uh, at this book off before and left it sitting there, but my curiosity got the best of me. So let's get this thing open. And again, if you are here looking for something, uh, if you're out shopping and you see this, you know, this means box and this means figure and this means body. So I'm guessing they're gonna be yellowed like a, but like a old school uh, Famicom box. So one of these days, when I do one of these videos, I'm going to have like a pair of scissors on me so that I can get these open without just ripping them apart with my hands. But that day is not this day. Okay, so got the plastic off, yes, got the plastic off. This is what constitutes a hugely damaged box. There's a lot of edge wear, probably going with a uh, black marker and just kind of fix. 
Interestingly, it doesn't say that anything's missing. It just says that the the body has like burn. Um, so I mean, who knows? All right. So let's open this. Let's open this and see how bad it is. Fifty percent off. It better be pretty. Bad. Okay. So what do we got? Okay, so yeah, it is a little bit uh, discolored. It's more of like a, a creamy white and then that uh, you know, solid, nice white that the uh, figure is you know, supposed to be. Uh, we do have the instruction booklet here with the file card and everything else. Um, let's open. So even, yeah, even the plastic is a little bit discolored, so I don't know what the deal with that is. Like maybe it was, you know, displayed in like a shop window, um, more on that later. Uh, this, this particular book off displays stuff in shop windows that absolutely shouldn't be. Um, okay, so got the helmet here and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit discolored. It's, there goes our brain monster. little bit a little bit discolored instead of pure white it's this creamy white uh not gonna lie kind of like this <laughs> i do uh okay so up here is a little bit more sunburned um it doesn't like reek of smoke or anything um but yeah i mean for for the price i mean it's yeah it's not completely evened out but for the price you know um what's seven thousand yen 60 ish us dollars uh yeah, pretty, uh, pretty okay with this, honestly. Uh, let's look at the saber body. Yeah, this, uh, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> I, I can't even, I can't even pretend. Like, yeah, if I had paid, you know, like the, uh, you know, uh, 200 US dollars, like, standard price for this, I probably would be a little bit annoyed at, uh, the, the condition. But I mean, for, for this price, geez, this is, this is a fantastic deal. Who could even complain? Okay, so I'm seeing, okay, one other issue uh, is that there is a little bit of a chip on the crotch area here, which is kind of a, a weird, weird little thing. Um, but yeah, I figured this is gonna photograph fine. This is, uh, I guess, this is what you get for 6,000 yen. Uh, I guess I was, I mean, I was really thinking that this was going to be absolute garbage like like literally that someone like smashed it with the with a hammer and put the put the uh parts back in but really i, I should have guessed that this was basically gonna be fine interested to know what the story is behind this where uh, like how this happened I'm, I'm thinking this is this really was just like basically um sitting in a in a shop window um, exposed to the, the elements. While I was at this this book off, um, they had a full set of all 50, uh, who do you say, Yatsuda DVDs, all 50. 50, I mean, one of these things is fairly uncommon to see. A set of them is basically unheard of. They wanted uh, 140,000 yen, which is, I think, doing the little bit of uh, hobby drifter math here, and I'm bad with math, uh, thousand US dollars. And they just had it shrink wrapped 50 dvd uh cases shrink wrapped together sitting like in the sun i felt so so very bad uh for them <laughs> i mean for for the cases um because i'm sure that there is going to be somebody who is overjoyed to find these things at that price and they're going to see that it's like you know sun faded uh, and it's not yet it's not yet but i mean this is the same book off that had a copy of uh, turtles in time for the super famicom wanted uh 20 000 yen for it and just left it sitting in a box facing the sun for eh, at least three years i think it's actually still there but now it's in a case um so yeah 
Uh, thanks for watching. This has been The Hobby Drifter talking about this ridiculously cheap uh, Masterpiece Star Saber. And now I've got a couple of these and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some pictures taken of, of them. Uh, missed out on the HasLab one, which uh, from what I'm hearing uh, doesn't sound like I've missed out on, on a whole lot, come to think of it. Uh, still would have been cool to uh, put on the shelf and I'm sure that I will wind up having that at some point because um, it's just how things, that's just how things go. Um, I always wind up uh, finding these things uh, somewhere down the road because I'm a huge geek and I go to book off, you know, and other secondhand stores with frankly alarming regularity. All right, um, so yeah, cream colored Star Saber, like 60 bucks, got a nice box too. Probably gonna edge it with uh, some, some markers to make it look even nicer. Uh, awesome figure if you ha were in the market for a uh, the HasLab one and missed out, then hey, good news, you're probably going to see a whole bunch of these uh, turning up in stores uh, over the next few, uh, I don't know, years, months, decades. I don't know, time is a flat circle. Thanks everybody, hope you have a great day. This has been The Hobby Drifter, take care of yourself and happy hobbying. Bye!